Welcome to the www.saklavija.com. So far, we have completed up to uh, transformations in, in the part of trigonometry. Today, we are going to deal about the new chapter. So, that is trigonometric equations. So, let us have a discussion. What is meant by the trigonometric equations? So far, you have come across different types of equations. So, that may be linear equations quadratic equations, cubic equations, biquadratic equations, it may be some polynomial equations. So, in the same, the similar way, we come across trigonometric equations. So, whenever an equation is there, so it possesses solution. So, those solutions are to be evaluated. So, today we discuss how to solve trigonometric equations. Suppose, let us consider sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. That means, sin of theta is equal to 1 by 2. So, for which angle the sin of theta is equal to 1 by 2. So, that means, so here we can write like this sin theta equals to 1 by 2 equals to can I write like this sin 30 degrees sin 30 degrees. So, that means theta equals to pi by 6 that means this theta is equal to pi by 6 satisfies the sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. So, that is why the sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 is called one of the trigonometric equations. So, that means we shall consider this one as the one of the examples of trigonometric equations. So, here the theta is equal to pi by 6 satisfies. So, that means this satisfies the equation sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. So, theta is equal to pi by 3 is called solution of sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. So, let us have a one more question. How many solutions does sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 have? This is the question. So, only one and only one value theta is equal to pi by 6 or more values. So, that further we shall discuss about the more solutions for sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. For example, in the similar manner, let us consider one more example. Suppose, tan square theta is equal to 3. So, is it a, is it an equation? Yes, why not? This is also one of the equations, trigonometric equations. Here tan square theta is equal to 3. So, let us solve it. How could we solve this one? So, let us discuss. Tan square theta is equal to 3 means, this 3 can be written root 3 whole square. Am I correct? Root 3 is equivalent to, we know that, that is tan of 60 degrees. So, this can be written tan square 60 degrees, that is tan square pi by 3. Now, do you expect what will be the solution? Yes, you are correct. So, that is theta is equal to pi by 3. So, in the similar manner, the all the trigonometric equations will be solved, but so we should have more, we search for the more solutions of these trigonometric equations. So, how to find out for that one? So, we have to find out some generalizations, we have to derive the generalization formulae, after that we shall proceed for the how to find out the solutions of various trigonometric equations. So, in that part, so first let us consider the one value here sin theta. See, here consider, consider sin theta is equal to k. Here 
where minus 1 less than or equal to k, k less than or equal to 1. So, that means we know that sin theta always lies between minus 1 and 1 only. Then only the sin theta is equal to k possesses solution. Otherwise, the solution does not exist for this trigonometric equation. Suppose, let us say, let us say or suppose, suppose sin theta equals to sin alpha, sin alpha, okay, correct. So, sin theta is equal to sin alpha. Here, alpha is called principal value, principal value. So, in general, in this chapter, we use PV. PV stands for principal value. So, this is a notation generally you can take it. So, now you bring sin alpha this side. Let us see what does it become. So, sin theta minus sin alpha equals to 0. Sin theta minus sin alpha is equal to 0 means. So, this is in the form of rather sin c minus sin d. Could you recollect that formula? Already we have discussed in earlier episodes that is actually chapter is transformation chapters. So, we have clearly discussed how to find out sin c plus sin d. If you have any doubt, so once again please watch that transformation chapter in our playlist from Sakalavija YouTube channel. So, now sin theta minus sin alpha is equal to 0. So, we know that sin c minus sin d sin c minus sin d equals to this is 2 cos of c plus d by 2 and sin of c minus d by 2. It is a formula. So, this is the formula. Okay. So, with the help of sin c minus sin d, this sin theta minus sin alpha can be put in the form of 2 cos of theta plus alpha by 2 and next sin of theta minus alpha by 2 equals to 0. So, now it is very simple we can write here cos of theta plus alpha by 2 equals to 0 and sin of theta minus alpha by 2 is equal to 0. Here that means two cases will arise. So, that means we have to solve this equation and we have to solve this equation also in order to get the value of theta. See now as cos theta plus alpha is equal to 0, we know that cos 90 degrees or cos of odd multiples of pi by 2 also we get 0. So, that means in general we can write cos theta plus alpha by 2 equals to cos of 2n plus 1 pi by 2 where n belongs to integers z. Okay. Now, theta plus alpha by 2 equals to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. See, theta plus alpha equals to 2n plus 1 half pi. Now, what is our aim? Our aim is to determine the value of theta. So, that means take alpha that side, that means principal value that side. So, theta is equal to 2n plus 1 of pi minus alpha, say equation 1. Now, it is the time to consider the sine of theta minus alpha is equal to 0. 
So, now the sin of theta minus alpha by 2 equals to 0 means sin of n pi is becomes 0. So, that means you can write sin of n pi. So, that means theta minus alpha by 2 equals to n pi. Theta minus alpha is equal to 2 n pi. Theta equals to 2 n pi plus alpha. This is equation 1 and 2. Now, with the help of equation 1 and equation 2, we have to write the, the common solution. That is the common general solution of sin theta is equal to k form. So, that means here from 1 and 2, what do we get? Let us see. From 1 and 2, if you carefully observe this 2n, this 2n is the even number. Whereas, 2n plus 1 is odd number. That means actually the general form of an even integer is 2n the general form of odd integer is 2n plus 1. So, that means here we are getting the sign, you see the sign minus and plus. That is why instead of minus plus, we can write minus 1 to the power of n. If n is odd, what is the value of minus 1 to the power of n? Yes, minus 1. If n is even, the minus 1 to the power of n is plus 1. So, that means from 1 and 2, here theta from 1 and 2 equations, theta is equal to, we can write n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n alpha, n belongs to integers. This is called general solution of sin theta is equal to k. So, this is called general solution. Shortly, we can write G s. See, this is the way, in this way, we can find out the general solution of sin theta is equal to k.